What is going on my friends? I'm going to be taking you through a day in the life. Nothing that exciting, but I'm going to the gym right now to train back and booty. And then I have to go to the grocery store and do some few other little errands, but I'm gonna take you with me to the gym and the grocery store because I wanna show you, I've been really proud of myself. Ever since I've been back from Mexico, I've been super on track. I wrote myself a training program that I'm following, which is a six day training program and one full day of rest. And also I'm following macros right now. I was following macros before, but I've always been the type that I've never been like completely on point on my macros. And I know that when you do macros, you have to be very diligent about like gram to the T. So my goal this week is to really stick to my macros and maybe I'll share with you guys what my macros are, but then again, I want you guys to know that no matter what you what your goal is, it's always going to be different because everybody's body's different. So I do not want you to base your macros according to what mine are. You know what I mean? So, but I'll, I'll give you a brief rundown once I get my groceries and stuff like that. But I really want to like just stick to this so that I could noticeably see if my body's changing, and if not, I, I will tailor my macros from there. So luckily I have my coach Damien that helps me do that. And I'm not a huge fan of, of the scale because I always tell even my clients, it's not, so, and it's not always the way you should measure progress, but as a starting point, sometimes it's good to see. So that when you look back after eight weeks, you can be like, all right, I lost five pounds. But obviously there are other factors as well, such as like measurements. You can see how your body like looks in certain clothing and stuff like that. I, I prefer those methods most of the time, but I want to weigh myself on Saturday. So I'll, I'll film a vlog for you guys on Saturday on that. Um, but yeah, for now, just heading to the gym, gonna get a little booty and back day in because I like to include at least like three days of booty workouts. That's how you really gain muscle there, ladies. At least three days, sometimes four. But I also know that I need to train upper body today because I'm still a little bit sore on my legs from training on Sunday, Tuesday now. So. I'm gonna just add in a few glute exercises to my back day. So I'll keep you guys posted on how that goes and I will catch you guys soon at the gym.
back end booty workout took me almost an hour. So I did three to four sets of every exercise as I showed you guys. I'm gonna put the little label down so you guys will be able to see the full workout. But um, yeah, that was that's something that I like to do to mix up. I don't like just doing upper body for an hour because I feel like I do not wanna grow my back that much. But training your back and your glutes will give the illusion of a smaller waist. So that's why it's good to kind of couple those two down. If in a sense, you're training your entire back because your glutes are back there too. <laughs> so we'll just say it was a full back workout, uh, but I'm gonna head to the grocery store and I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm eating at the moment. Since a lot of you guys ask about diet tips, uh, I do like to say that everybody is different, but I'll show you exactly what I'm eating at the moment. So I'm going to pick up a few things here at Sprouts. I'm going to make it quick because I have a lot of stuff at home already. I'll show you everything that I'm going to eat for the week. But I'm picking up some lean proteins. And what else do I need? I need some good fats like avocados and oils. And I also need some carb sources. I'm, I changed up my carb sources a little bit because there are a few things that I feel like I just don't digest very well. Like it's weird, but I feel like I oatmeal just makes me so bloated so I'm picking up this other stuff called quinoa oats it's basically just quinoa and flakes and then I'm also I already have a ton of sweet potato fries that I'm gonna bake at home so I'm gonna see what else oh and I need water as well so I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm gonna buy here as well This is what I'm using right now instead of oatmeal for breakfast. It is so good, so I'm picking that up. This is apparently really good for your digestion. You guys, if you have bad digestion, they say you should include more probiotics as well. This is basically natural probiotics. So this is all fermented vegetables. That's really, really good for your digestion. I got trapped in your eyes the moment you look from across the room, those eyes kept following me. Something popped in my brain. All right, guys, we're back here in my kitchen. I didn't buy everything at Sprouts right now because I already had a lot of this at home, but I'm showing you briefly what I eat at the moment. This is actually laid out because I'm also filming a video right now for Ripped Femme that is going to be my top tips for losing weight. And you know that my number one tip is always. Food is first, like food is everything. You could, doesn't matter how many hours you spend in the gym, if you are not eating according to your goals, you're not gonna get there. Whether it's gaining muscle or losing body fat, that's just the name of the game. You either have to be in a calorie deficit if you wanna lose some body fat and eating like good nutritious foods, or you have to be in a calorie surplus. That's of course if you have your health in mind as well. So I'm gonna show you briefly, but make sure to tune in to Rip Femme's video. I will post it on my IG when it will be posted on the Rip Femme page. It'll be exclusive to them. So these are gonna be my top tips to losing weight, but I'm gonna show you briefly what I eat. I basically eat very paleo. Not that I like to label myself as anything in particular because Maybe one day I will want to eat all the carbs and I'm just not paleo and it's totally fine but For the most part I eat according to my blood type It could be a fad fad or whatever you want to call it But I notice the best energy when I eat according to that and I'm actually below O blood type So these are some of the foods that are highly beneficial and also just like not some of them aren't highly beneficial But these are the foods that I feel do really well for my body and lately my energy has been through the roof and I totally know that it's because I'm eating right. So I'll show you briefly. Protein sources, organic eggs, organic beef, salmon, organic chicken. Always, if you're getting protein sources, I really recommend organic because that's how you know that there's no antibiotics, no hormones, none of that junk, all just pure. So my fats are over here, walnuts, almonds, avocados, which are the best, flax oil, tahini, olive oil and coconut oil. And then we have some fruits, as you can see, some vegetables. You also wanna make sure that you, your vegetables obviously are gonna give you the micronutrients that you need, the vitamins and minerals and stuff like that. But I also take a multivitamin right over here that helps just fill in those gaps. I got some extra vegetables, some seaweed. It is very good for you, very good for your health and super low in calories. Like, 
one sheet. Okay, these, they don't have anything in them. They're just sushi nori, zero calories. And you could basically make like little wraps. I love these. And these have 25 calories because they just have a little bit of olive oil. And I also am in starting to include more fermented foods and probiotics because I want my digestion just to be like on point. So this is some kimchi, which is just fermented cabbage and fermented vegetables and just really good for your digestion. And to finish off, just some carb sources like I showed you at Sprouts, some quinoa flakes in the mornings, some rice cakes here and there. I don't eat these that often, but once in a while. Oh, and also my sweet potatoes that I'm gonna be baking in the oven at the moment. So this is kind of just a little rundown. Honestly, I don't spend more than like 150 to 200 dollars a week that will last me an entire week and that's because i get my fish prepped at whole foods totally saves you time and it makes it ensures that you are not sinking up the house so it's a win-win so anyway that's what i eat guys i hope that you enjoyed today's video just a little rundown kind of kept, like keeping you guys in the loop of my workouts how they're going and my nutrition um, make sure to comment below if you have any recommendations on videos you would like to see and let me know if you like that booty and back workout. I personally like adding booty to upper body workouts because as females, of course we have to lift heavy. I'm all about lifting heavy, but I don't want to get like super, super big in my upper body. So that's why I kind of mix both. You know, it's all about creating like whatever your idea of the best physique is and I really like legs and butt <laughs> so that's why I train legs and butt a lot so anyway guys thank you for watching this video uh, I will catch you guys on the next video thank you for watching bye and I can't deny